Here we have a 32-inch Samsung LED TV. At first glance, it looks normal, but take a closer look. The entire screen is filled with vertical bars and the picture appears only in the bottom two inches of the panel. Strange horizontal lines are also flickering across the display. Something inside this TV has definitely gone wrong. And today we're gonna find out exactly what it is. This is a frameless LED TV, which means the display panel is directly bonded to the body without any frame support. So before we can begin any repair work, we'll need to carefully separate the display from the body. This step has to be done very safely because even a small mistake here can damage the panel completely. Now, to separate the display panel safely from the body, we'll use a small amount of alcohol around the edges. The alcohol helps to loosen the adhesive that holds the display tightly to the frame. Once the adhesive starts to soften, we'll slowly begin lifting the display, but not directly by hand. Instead, we'll use a small piece of the backlight reflector sheet to gently slide between the panel and the body. This thin sheet helps us lift the display evenly without putting pressure on the glass. It's a slow and delicate process, but this care ensures the panel comes off smoothly and without any cracks or damage. Using a microscope, we're closely observing the bonding area of the display, both on the glass side and the PCB side. We're carefully checking to make sure there are no signs of burns, damage, or broken connections in this section. After checking carefully under the microscope, we didn't find any burn marks or abnormal signs on the bonding area. Everything looks clean and normal so far. This kind of problem usually occurs when there's a loose connection in the bonding area. So in this case, we're going to replace the COF using the bonding machine. To do that, we'll first need to remove the existing COF completely, both from the PCB side and the glass side very carefully. After removing the COF, we'll clean the bonding area on the glass side using ACF remover and acetone. This step is very important. It helps to remove any old adhesive or dust particles, ensuring a perfect surface for the new bonding. In the next step, we'll take a brand new COF and carefully cut it to the required size with the help of a cutter. After that, We'll clean the bonding area using acetone and a soft cleaning sponge. Once the surface is cleaned, we'll observe the bonding area under a microscope. At this stage, it's extremely important to make sure there are no tiny dust particles present. Even a single particle can cause vertical lines on the display after bonding. That's why this process must be done very precisely and patiently. One small mistake here can affect the final picture quality. After cleaning the COF properly, we'll apply the ACF tape over it. Once the tape is placed correctly, we'll press it gently using the T-iron. This step allows the ACF tape to bond firmly with the COF, ensuring a proper connection during the final bonding process. It's important to apply even pressure and maintain the right temperature, so the tape adheres smoothly without any air gaps or wrinkles. We've placed the display on the bonding machine and started the alignment process. There are two alignment symbols on the panel, one on the left and one on the right. Both must line up perfectly. After aligning, we position the COF slider with the glass gate. Once 90% alignment is done, we remove the white protective layer from the ACF tape and complete the final 10% adjustment. Now, the bonding head is placed on the glass and preheating begins to settle the COF. Then the final bonding starts. The temperature rises to 230 degrees Celsius, held for 10 seconds, allowing the ACF to form a solid connection. As the head cools down and the temperature drops to about 100 degrees Celsius, the process is complete and now we will bond the PCB. Now we'll perform the same bonding process on PCB, just like before, we'll align the COF with the PCB. After that, we'll carry out the final bonding steps at the required temperature, allowing the COF to attach firmly to the PCB.
After completing both COF bondings, we powered on the panel and it's working perfectly. The screen is now clear, bright, and fully functional again. This confirms that our bonding process and alignment were successful. So, this was the complete repair process of a Samsung 32-inch LED TV that had vertical bars and picture distortion. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Retronic, for more LED TV repair tutorials and bonding machine demonstrations. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.